an exciting week. There has been a lot going on in this industry, including a new version of Houdini that continues to widen its lead as the go-to application for simulation with the introduction of mops as a new way of simulating everything and the addition of cops, which is an alternative to Substance Designer for creating procedural shaders, textures, and material nodes. And there was also a new version of Blender released, Blender 4.2, which includes a lot of great features, a lot of new amazing add-ons and updates, which include a new procedural destruction add-on, some new amazing characters, a new layer-based texturing add-on, a new city generator, and more. So let's dive in and take a look at this. At number one, we have a new city generator. I must admit, this is the most detailed city generator I have seen. It's amazing how much detail and control you can get out of geometry nodes if it lands in the hands of a professional. And the city generator is a testament to the power of geometry nodes. The installation process is still the same as usual, and using the add-on is also intuitive. You extrude faces to create new city blocks. These will have everything from buildings, pavements, streets, and roads, connecting them to other blocks. You can scale these faces to get larger city blocks, and you can also play with different parameters to change the density of the block and how tall the buildings in the selected block can be. I too made a procedure city generator. While mine is not as detailed and realistic as the previous one, it's lightweight and can be more dense and larger than the city generator. So if you want a large city that your PC can render, this is a great alternative. You just draw the boundaries of the city and everything else will be added for you from roads, buildings, streets, and everything else. I love cities, but mostly when they are destroyed and abandoned. You may want a clean city now, but when you need an abandoned or semi-destroyed building, I go to you covered. I made this destroyed building generator using geometry nodes and it's easy to use. There is no installation, you just copy the building object and paste it into your scene or use the asset browser. Better yet, if you have my asset library add-on, you can just add this in the library and when you want to use it, you just search for it by its name in the add-on. The damage and debris are all added procedurally so you can adjust it and customize it using the parameters of the generator and if you want you can add some ivy growth debris exposed rebar and more i've been making quite a lot of geometry nodes tools that can help in creating post-apocalyptic scenes here is another one this is a debris generator that scatters debris and other assets like grass near walls and corners of buildings to create that more realistic feeling because when debris or chunks of a wall break over a building they usually fall closer to the wall and break apart making the corners have more and larger pieces closer to the wall and smaller pieces scattering away from the wall this is the look i was trying to replicate using this debris generator there have been several attempts at making a cheaper or free substance alternative that works directly in Blender, and the closest to it was Ammo Paint, but it's a standalone application at $19. If you want it for free, you'll have to build it yourself from GitHub. If that's a lot of trouble for you, take a look at Ravage, a layer-based texturing add-on that works like Substance Painter, and also works directly in the Blender viewport. What's amazing about this is that it comes with its own set of materials that you can use as a starting point. The add-on is also fully capable of generating masks that you can use to mix and blend different materials together. If you like procedural landscapes, you're going to love Naturescapes Pro. This is one of the best tools I've used for creating environments. You can just draw over surfaces and trees, grass, bushes, Basically, a complete ecosystem is created for you. This also comes with some tools to help you generate a suitable environment for your biomes, forests, or landscapes. These tools come with dynamic materials that change depending on the elevation or slope of your mesh, assigning a suitable material for everything, saving you a lot of time. As an extra touch, the add-on comes with a wind function that lets you add wind animation to the plants, plus a road function to easily add roads to your landscapes. Now, this one is for the men and women of culture. There are many ways to make money from 3D, and one of the most profitable ways is to profit from other people's sins, if you know what I mean. If you don't, this pack of sterilized humans is enough to know what I'm talking about. The pack comes with different characters with different body types, including A, B, and C. The characters are fully rigged and ready to use. 
There are a lot of realistic terrains out there. What we miss is a collection of sterilized terrains, mountains and environments. If you are making a cartoon environment, anime or anything sterilized, Terra Paint comes with over 500 terrain assets to choose from. It also comes with a fog shader, sterilized clouds, plants, trees and vegetation. Everything is sterilized. HDRI images are texture maps that capture the surrounding environment, capturing the skies, background, foreground and the ground. While these maps capture everything surrounding them, most artists underutilize them. This add-on, Dome Studio Lite HDRI, is an add-on that makes full use of HDRI maps by turning them into a dome object to which the HDRI is projected so that you can use all the sides of the HDRI including the ground to capture shadows to act as a shadow catcher and also a textured ground that is part of the environment. The most popular crowd simulation add-on on the market, Procedure Crowds, has been updated. This update offers a wide variety of crowds to fit any scene and brings your environment to life. It also brings a new way to control crowds, agent randomization, stadium agents, and more than 50 unique models with random clothing, skin tones, and animations. If you're making something realistic, give your environment the final realistic touch with this add-on, Flock Generator. This is a collection of different bird species animated with a flock system to admit them flying through your scene. These birds use aboids and other flying systems to simulate a flock of birds in the sky or flying over a city. Do you ever incorporate ropes, chains, wires, or other long, thin, and flexible objects in your scene? If so, Strands is a Geometry Nodes asset collection designed specifically for your needs. This library includes a collection of modular modifiers that makes it easy to add things like drops, chains, wires into your scene. The modifiers assist with everything from the initial placement or the final meshing. You can connect them to nearby objects, nearby points, add gravity, make them sag, wrap them around objects, tie them on other wires, add nodes, add wind, make chains, braids, ropes, and a lot of other things. Finally, to close out this list, let's look at the assemble tool. This geometry node tool will assemble any object that is made out of different pieces, like a robot, house, statue, and other things. You just make sure the pieces are in a collection, then let the tool use that collection, and it will scatter the pieces and assemble them back into the object. Thank you for watching. If you want to check out any of these